Hello there. Because this year was such an amazing year for Benelux ornaments, uh, I actually sold so many of these that I, you wouldn't even believe me if I told you how many I sold. So I'm not going to bother. But in honor of that, I'm going to show you guys how to do two baby's first Christmas ornaments. A pink one and a blue one. And I'm going to walk you through the entire process. So the first thing I did, uh, I went to Creative Fabrica, which I'm a member of, and I'm also an affiliate of Creative Fabrica. So if you decide that you'd like to purchase some of these elements and make these yourself, by all means. If not, they're available for purchase on my Etsy store if you'd like to have the template. So what I did, I went to Creative Fabrica. I downloaded my background files, my elements, my font that I want to use, and I have them all open here on my computer, and I'm going to walk you through them and show you exactly what I'm going to use. So I downloaded this pink background file. Um, they're little clips here. We don't need those. That's going to be cut out of it when this is pasted onto our ornament template. The next thing I downloaded was uh, a few elements for the blue ornament for little boys. So I have three chosen. There's uh, quite a few in this pack that I downloaded. I just chose these. Uh, little mittens. And a little blue candy cane. The next thing I have here is... Um, this blue, baby blue agate stone looks like marble with gold flecks. Uh, I have two of those open. There's a dozen or so in the pack that I downloaded. And these are so handy for just about anything that you want to do. If you're into doing uh, those 20 ounce skinny tumblers, these are beautiful on those uh, for a background. And you can move them around, resize them, shape them however you like. So that's going to be the background for the baby boy ornament. And the next thing is the two little elements I have picked out for little girl ornaments. A little pink penguin and a little pink stocking. So let's get started with our little girl ornament. So I have a template open here. Uh, I actually have this uh, dimension saved on my, uh, what, you know, first when you open Photoshop, uh, it gives you different sizes that you can click on to create a new document. This one I have in my save section. I'll just go show you. So I go new. And if you click in here and saved, I have some, like I have one for a mouse pad, one for ornament, one for pillow cover. Uh, collection icon, that's from my Shopify store. I don't have a whole lot, but I do have one ornament, one side. So the dimensions for that is 1200 by 848 pixels at 300 pixels per inch. So that's what I click on whenever I go to create a new ornament. I'm not going to do that now because I already have it open. So we're going to start with little girl ornaments. So to do that, let's go into this pink background file that I've picked here. Um, this is a locked background layer. I'm going to just click the unlock button. And I'm just going to get my selection tool here. Re uh, rectangular marquee tool, I should say. I'm bad with the names in this. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this down. And I'm going to just not get those little clips. So I'm going to hit Control C. Now I'm going to go back to my Untitled, which actually is my ornament template. Hit Control V. And you see it doesn't quite fill in the entire thing. So now to make that fill in the entire background, I'm just going to hit Control T. Just drag that out. Okay, so that looks pretty good, I think. Hit Enter, and that'll save that uh, resize. So, the font that I chose for this is called, uh, let me see, mm -hmm. I can't remember what I called it, what it's called, I should say. Let's see, let's go into, go to my downloads, you can always see in there. I'm bad. I got about 100 different things open here. Okay, the font that I chose is called Alexia Bright. And I got that off Creative Fabric as well. The link to that is in the description below. So we'll just go in here and we'll open up uh, Alexia. A L E X I A. Script we want. We want the script one. The other one is all caps. We don't want that. Just double click on that. Now, 
I'm not sure what color I'm going to do the font. I'm going to go with black right off the bat and see how that looks. I might have to change it up after. So we're going to put the text Baby's First Christmas. Now you can see that this is really spaced way too far apart. So in Photoshop to make that go back together, uh, closer together, just highlight all the text. You go into your window uh, menu item at the top there and you click on character. And that'll open up the character panel. So uh, you see that the spacing between rows in your text is set to 50.3. We're using a 24 point uh, version of that font so that's way too much. You can try automatic. If you click on auto most times it's very good. I like to have them a little bit closer than that. Because uh, it's a 24 point font, I'll start at 24. Let's see. Oh, that looks perfect. That looks perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to take that first of all, and I'm going to uh, position it right here. Now, if you look at this font, you see that the, the top of the F and the dot on the I kind of overlap. So that's telling me that this uh, font has the letters a little too close together. So highlight it again. And now there's another uh, setting on here that increases the space between letters. So right now set to zero. If you want to make them relatively closer together, you click on one of these, depending on how close you want them. We don't want to do that. I'm just showing you that for demonstration. Um, let's try 25. No, nope, you still got your I and your F overlapping here. I don't like that. Okay. Baby's first Christmas. That looks good. So hit your selection tool and that'll take the highlight off of that. I'm not real cracked up on this. Um, uh, I'm not real cracked up on this black. But we'll fix that up after. So what you got to remember is that when you put this on an ornament, uh, you got a hole here at the top, the, right here in the center. You also got sections where it comes down. So you've got to make sure that you keep all your. Um, important elements in your design away from the edge. So baby's first Christmas. Now we're going to get our little elements that we chose. Not that one. Not that one. Our little penguin. So this is layer one. So you just go control A and then you hit control shift C. And that'll copy everything. Now go back to your template untitled and hit V. Now you see that this is enormous because it's only showing a very slight little corner up here. So what we got to do is we got to transform this. I'm going to transform it to about 25%. So to transform it, hit Control T, and now you get your little uh, transformation panel comes up up here. Uh, the size we got uh, our width and our height here. We want 25%, and because this little link button is connected, when you change the width to 25%, it also changes the height to 25%. 25. Okay. Now it looks like it disappeared. It just made it so much smaller and it's not visible. So we're just going to go Control minus, and that'll make it smaller, and we'll find our item that we just uh, resized. Now you can see that that's way too big. So what you can do instead of um, Entering in the percentage up here, up along the top bar here, you can actually just grab one of these little handles so that you got the diagonal double pointed arrow and just drag it, drag, drag, drag to the size that you want. So I'm just going to put this right about where? Right about here, underneath Baby's First Person. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other little element that I got, which is the little stocking. Same as this, just uh, make sure your layer is selected. Hit Control A, Control C. And now you're going to go back to your template. And you're going to hit Control V. And this again is so, so huge. We're just going to drag this down. We could hit Control T and put in a percentage, but it's easier, I think, just to do this.
Yeah. That to me looks like it's pointing the wrong way. So I'm going to just uh, go into image. I'm oh, sorry, edit, transform, flip horizontal. There. And I think that looks better. Alrighty. Let's try it right here. Now I'm thinking that this is not looking so good. So I think I'm just going to drag that down here. Make it a little tiny bit smaller. Now it doesn't really contrast well with the background. Neither does the penguin. So I'm going to give it a bit of a shadow. I'm just going to let's see. Just double click on the layer here and that'll open up the layer style palette. We want to give it a drop shadow. So just put a little check mark in here and drop shadow and click where on the word drop shadow. So you still see, you can see that as a tiny little bit of a shadow there. It's not enough. We want that to stand out. So we're going to just drag our distance up a little bit. That's a little bit harsh. It doesn't look like a actual stocking. We're going to drag our spread up a little bit. Now that will help it uh, get a better shadow under it. And then we're going to hit size. Now that's going to feather it out a bit so it's not so harsh. So you can play around with these to whatever looks best on your project. This, I'm just doing what looks best on my project. Yours might look totally different. Okay. Alright, so we got this uh, little stocking here with a little bit of a drop shadow around it. And the drop shadow is black. I don't want it that black. I want it, uh, let's try a pink. But we want like a dark, like a dark pink. So you just choose one of these colors. That looks better, I think. Or maybe like a grayer pink. There, I like that. Okay, so hit OK. Now you're going to hit OK again. Now we're going to hit Control plus, 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 plus. And now we can really see what it's going to look like. Now I got these palettes in the way of my drag bar here, so I can scroll this down. Oh, I got too much of this open. I'm going to close that out. Okay, so you can see now that it's differentiated between the uh, element and the background by the shadow. So we want the exact same shadow on our penguin. So how do you do that? So layer 3 is stocking. You just select layer 3. You right click. Say copy layer style. Now click on layer 2. Right click. Paste layer style. And now you see your penguin has the exact same settings for the shadow as the stocking. Okay. So that's a little too big to work with. I'm just going to zoom that out. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe we should drag this over here a little bit. And probably, probably flip them back around again. Because let's flip the horizontal. There. All right. Move this over another bit. Or... Maybe we can put it here like this and drag it beneath the text. So in your layer palette, you just drag that beneath the text and take it and give it a little spin. I really don't like it still. Oh well. Uh, should be okay, I think. Okay, the reason I don't want it over here is because I want to put a little... Uh, I want to put a little opening here that you can put a baby's picture under. So to do that, how am I going to do that? I'm just going to take the uh, marquee, uh, rectangular marquee tool, click the elliptical marquee tool, and I'm going to, I want to make this circular, totally circular. So I'll just put it where I think it should go here, handy about in the middle, close to the middle. Hit your shift key and drag out a circle. Uh, by holding your shift key, it's going to create a perfect circle. But I think it's a little too long, so we'll scrap it with a control there. We'll move it up a little tiny bit. Okay. And we'll drag that out. And we, again, we don't want to go too close to the edge because uh, the Benelux ornament has little indentations and stuff. And if you cut off the uh, if you cut off the detail in the design, uh, your customers are not going to be happy. So we got our circular uh, marquee cut out here, or elliptical marquee. 
So we want to take that out of the background layer. So just choose your background layer, get your delete key. And you can see, um, when I chose the elliptical marquee, it had a feather of 25. And that's exactly what we want. We could put like a gold frame around there, but I like, I like it better just... Uh, fade it out around the edges and when you pop the baby's picture in there it's going to look so adorable all right so next thing you want to do now uh, on our baby's first christmas we have um, just a black fill on that those letters you double click on that we're going to put a layer style on that so it looks a little a little better so i have some preset styles that i, I start with usually and then i uh, then i modify them from there Let's see. That one is a little too out to lunch. I got gold. Gold is kind of cute. I really like that, but it doesn't pop enough for me. I'd have to up the uh, the drop shadow layer. So to do that, you just hit on drop shadow, and you go in, and you can. Uh, Increase the opacity of the shadow. Okay. And make the distance a little bit bigger. So that kind of, this is what happens when you drag the distance slider. It makes the shadow move further or closer to the uh, actual text. So we only just want it a small bit. And the direction that that goes in is all dependent on the angle here. So if I ch change this angle, it goes that way. Depending on the angle, so you can play with that and whatever looks better on yours. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with the gold. The spread just uh, makes it a little bit bigger or smaller. Size, mm, that intensifies the shadow, the, the, the reach of the shadow, we'll say. Kind of like this. Alright. Say OK. Maybe we can make these words a little bit bigger. So in order to do that, just click on your, make sure your layers click, put your words on it. Hit Control T. Oops. Control T. And now you can drag that a little bit bigger by just dragging the corners on the handle. Baby's first Christmas. Okay. Now that stocking got to be moved yet again because I don't really like it. I can move it down here like that. Alright, and we can click on that stocking and move it up just a little tiny bit. I think that looks good. So don't forget that there's a baby's picture going to go in here. And we'll show you that now in just a second. So on a baby's first Christmas ornament, a very important element is the year. Because uh, as a commemorative item, they want the year on it, the customer. So we're going to stick with the same font. Um, I'm going to put the year up about right here. And we're going to say 2021. Now when you're designing these, if, you, um, if you're planning on reusing them year after year, when you design it, make sure that you save a Photoshop file that you can edit this. If you just um, save this as a, a flat file or a PNG file, you won't be able to edit the year, so you'll have to start from scratch again the following year. Uh, if you just save this as a PNG file, you can definitely go in and edit, uh, sorry, a Photoshop file, you can go in and edit the year, which is what you're going to need to do. So I want to have this gold on this 2021 as well. So to do that, where it says Baby's First Christmas, I just click in here, right click, and I choose Copy Layer Style. Now I go to my 2021 text layer, click. Right click, uh, paste layer style. Now, we got our little 2021 in gold letters. We don't want it too big though. And we gotta decide actually definitely where we're gonna put it. I think I'm gonna just drag it down about right here. I think that would be cute. Okay. Now, another important uh, element of this is the baby's name. So. Uh, let's think up a little name here. 
So in order to do that, I'm just going to right click on 2021 and I'm going to copy layer style. No, nope, not copy layer style. Copy the entire layer. So I'm just going to say duplicate layer. Now we got a copy of that and that's where we're going to put the baby's name. We're going to call her Mandy Allison White. No, nope, not Mandy Allison White. Mandy Rachel Brown. Now I am not going to, I'm going to take the effect off of this. We don't want, let's just remove to the clear layer style. Mandy, Rachel Brown. Okay. And the reason I did that is because uh, if you save this as a PNG file uh, and you want to edit this in something other than Photoshop that doesn't have layer styles you're not going to be able to recreate the gold effect so we're only going to put the gold effect on permanent elements of the design so the name we're just going to do we're, we're going to do it in this um, Alexia script font but we're going to keep it in black or we can even change it to like a, a dark dark pink let's see some graphic design programs don't have the layer star capability so we want everybody to be able to use this so we're just going to grab our pink color but we're going to go real dark shades of this uh, that works I like that Okay. So I have a baby picture here. It's a picture that I got off of a stock photography site. So uh, I'm going to copy that and paste it in the back of my uh, baby's first Christmas ornament. So in order to be able to copy and paste this, I'm just going to take the lock off of it because it's coming up as a background layer. Okay. So just hit Control A, Control Shift C. Control Shift C is not always necessary. Control C should suffice, but I always use Control Shift C because it gets all the layers. Now we want this put in the back of this layer. So hit Control V. So it pastes it on the top. So what we want to do now is. Uh, some of this. We want this photo layer underneath this um, main background layer here. So we're going to just drag that down underneath. And you see that it disappeared in behind. So it's not showing the portion of the photo that we want. So we're just going to drag that a little smaller. Drag it up. Drag it over. Oh, how sweet is that? Let's make it a little bit bigger. Oh. I think we can go just a little bit bigger, but it's entirely up to yourself when you're doing your own. So there, that's totally beautiful. And that, my friends, is your baby's first Christmas ornament in pink. If you don't want to make this yourself, uh, this template will be available on my Etsy shop. The link in the description below that you can purchase if you want to make your own baby's first Christmas ornament. The next thing that I'll be doing, the next video, is the blue ornament. And following that, I will be showing you how to set these up on a uh, mock-up file that you can purchase off of Etsy. Uh, I use um, Style Product Mock-ups exclusively pretty much all the time. It's the only decent mock-up that I can find. The, she does a wonderful job. I don't know her personally, but I've had so many mock-ups off her to put on my website and on my Facebook page. So stay tuned and check out our next video.